Hi and welcome to my channel. Today's video is about getting a stock seat post loose. Um, in this case it's a dropper post, but the problem is the same. So I have been riding with this dropper post for a few years and it has served me well until now. Um, and I have it up of, out of the frame a few times and rearranging it and I have been putting some paste on it, but uh, apparently not enough. And so it became stuck at one point and then it broke down. And um, yeah, that's not good because it had been serviced once under a warranty and now I needed to get it out and install a new one. In the beginning, I just loosened the bolts holding it into the frame, hoping that at some point it would get a jolt or something and come loose when I was riding, uh, but that didn't happen. So I had to think of something else. So the first attempt was just to pour boiling water on the frame and uh, some of the posts, hoping that it would do something with, with expanding and retracting in, in size, but clearly that wasn't enough. So. We also tried just turning it clockwise and anti-clockwise and uh, well, I said tried because it didn't budge at all. It was completely stuck. So clearly I was looking at maybe having to get a new frame and it, it's quite expensive. I didn't feel like I have that kind of money. So what I did was I purchased a CO2 fire extinguisher and it was like in dollars. It would probably like ugh, 150, 200 dollars. And that's a lot of money too, but it's still cheaper than having to buy a, a new carbon frame. So I took the chance. And so came the weekend where we went glamping. It's the fancy version of camping. And I brought the CO2 fire extinguisher and we started by building a cardboard, um, what should we call it, enclosure uh, that we could pour all the CO2 into. And we did that and produced a lot of dry ice. So the first attempt was just trying to see if we can turn it and, and get it to come loose, but it didn't. And the next attempt, attempt was to pour some boiling water on the outside and hope that the difference in temperatures would do something. Um, but sadly, it hadn't come loose at that point. So attempt three, we poured down some WD-40. Uh, the frame was ups and down and then we poured it inside and hoping that would do something, let it sit there for a little while and we cooled it down again. Um, it still didn't come loose. We had of course destroyed the rubber post at this point, so the saddle was just moving around and could almost do a 360 <laughs> inside the rubber post. Um, so we were kind of out of choices right now. At this point, the manager came past and had a look at what we were doing and uh, he offered to lend us his pipe wrench and uh, quite frankly at this point I, I figured that there wasn't much anything else we could do but just going all in uh, on brute force and that could have potentially broken the frame. I think it was certainly bending severely and in a dangerous manner and I figured that might it might have had it at that time but it was the last attempt and fortunately it did come loose and I could insert the new dropper post. So the question is, did the CO2 save it or what? What? what's actually was the reason here? Was it still just the brute force? I can't tell you. I don't know. It didn't seem like it, the CO2 did much and maybe it did. Well, the important part is that it now had come out of the frame so I <laughs> could use my bike again. Um, and what seemed to be the reason it became stuck was that the aluminium had corroded uh, a bit, but it's a very tight fit. There's not much room, it's not a millimeter of space. So the, the least amount of expansion would probably seize up the, the rubber post so you couldn't get it out in, in a seat post for that matter also. So in the future, I have it out every month and using some carbon paste just to make sure that it won't get stuck and so I'm hopefully can catch it next time. That's the lesson that I've learned that uh, I need to service it more often than I have been in the past. So uh, yeah, so it all went well and we can go out on the trail and have some fun. And as a thanks for all the help from my friends here, I'm Suze Vida, a couple of ribeyes from Kansas Ranch and made a bunch of my patented potatoes. I think I've explained that in a different video and a bit of the red wine I brought. So. 
all in all an excellent week weekend that saved me a lot of money buying a, from buying a new new frame so that's all for today if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you didn't like it you can always give it a thumbs down but no matter what you're still welcome here and until next time have fun on the interwebs